Hi, Domingo Reyes from Inspirational Chatter, coming with you with a, one of my wonderful friends, Jonas Gadson from Beaufort, South Carolina. Jonas is with us in Delaware today, and uh, he's a, he is a prolific writer, a motivational speaker, distinguished Toastmaster, and just a good friend. Did I leave anything out, brother? No, you got it, brother. All right. <laughs> he's known as Mr. Enthusiastic. And a uh, matter of fact, uh, if you spend just a few minutes with him, if you listen to him at all, uh, he's going to put a smile on your face. And so I'm just thrilled to be able to have this time to be able to talk and speak with him on today. Uh, also, this almost didn't happen. Uh, we were on the phone today, and uh, I was asking him, I said, look, we were trying to schedule uh, this time to be able to sit down and talk and almost didn't happen and, and he gave me a, a short time period and I had to juggle a few things around but it, I, something that actually he said brought came to mind to me. He said there are three types of people in this world. <laughs> those that watch things happen, those that make things happen, and those that wonder what happened. Yes. And, and that actually came to my mind and when we were trying to schedule this yeah. and I said, you know what, I'm going to make this make happen. This happen. So <laughs> well, here we are. So glad to have you uh, here at Inspirational Chatter. And uh, he is a motivational speaker. And I just want him to address the audience and let him know a little bit about himself and, and what he does. And uh, so just talk to the people. Well, as my great friend said, I'm a motivational speaker and I do inspiration, um, motivation, and um, education of speaking. I came out of corporate America where I trained over 8,000 people at Eastman Kodak, you know, company. I've spoken in front of Toastmasters uh, International. I, tell, I teach people how to take a chance, take charge, take control of their lives. And what I always emphasize is that the way that I teach is education, inspiration and then motivation and a lot of times people ask me why well first of all if you motivate a person and that person don't have the skills necessary then you're motivating that for person to go the wrong in the wrong direction so education is first and the Latin word for educate is to lead or to draw out so I, I work to draw the best out of people mm -hmm. and then inspiration. If there ever been a time in yes. life that people need inspiration, yes. that time is now. Because people have uh, uh, what I call the three H's. They have hurts, habits, and hang-ups. Mm -hmm. So any time, any, if there ever been a time they need a message of healing or yes. of yes. lifting up that, yes. that, that spirit, that time is now. Yeah. And then the third thing is motivation get get them to get up and get going and make things happen because losers let it happen but winners make it happen all right all right and, and like you said about this this time this is specifically why I wanted to speak to you today was because right now you know I, I'm a pastor and, and I, I uh, pastor over a congregation and there are so many people right now that are dejected or feel feel they don't have a fair shake in this world yes. they, they they feel uh, they've lost their jobs many people who have been on the jobs for many many years yes. and find themselves struggling right now to yes. find employment uh, and and it's made it feels like the world is beating down upon them yes. Uh, yes. and how do you speak to a person who's in who finds himself in that situation well first of all I can ex I got experience in that area because I used to work for Eastman Kodak company but before I used to work at Eastman Kodak, I used to work at Xerox, and I got laid off from, uh, from Xerox, so I, I needed to get the skills I needed to move to another uh, level. Mm. I have, a, I have a, a word in my uh, new book, is, is hope, and it's spelled in a, in a cross stick, and that means that I'm having only positive expectation mm. for you yes and so in, in times like this we, we need hope yes. and also we need the skills we were promised that you get a good education you get a good job and you're set for life well things have changed so we have to learn new skills we got to read more books we got to build what, what I call around uh, build ourselves around what I call the, the three P's around positive, powerful, and purposeful people yes. who is going to help you because iron, you know, sharpens iron. Now, this can be the best of times if 
you position yourself because what, whatever the economy is doing, and I know it's been tough for the last few years, but whatever the economy is doing, this too will pass. Mm -hmm. But my question that I ask all of the audience, what is, what's going to happen when this passes? If you didn't prepare yourself, you'll miss the opportunity. I have a quote in my book that it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one yeah. than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. Yes. So this is the time that you need to prepare yourself. And sometimes people say, well, go back to school. Well, you can do that, but it's going to cost money. You, there's, an easier, it's, there's an easier way that you can educate yourself. You can go to a library, get a library card for, three, through, through, for free. Yes. And you can take <laughs> books out of there, wow. and they'll read. The author will read the book to you. Mm. You know how much easier can it get? So, so I don't. I don't like reading. I don't either. But I hate bro being broke more. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Yes. so because the education is so expensive. You're right. But have you tried ignorant lately? It costs more. It costs it a lot. Costs, yeah. It costs more. So this is the time that you're going to work on yourself. And and and, and I, I'm a tape enthusiast. Now a CD enthusiast. I turned my car into the universal wheels yes. over 20 years ago. Mm. I listened to motivational tape, educational tape, how to improve my enunciation and how to speak more. And of course, I call myself a Mr. Enthusiastic, but I also make the distinction there's a difference between an educator and a communicator. An educator takes simple things and make it complex. I'm a communicator. I take complex mm. things and make it simple. I, I swing the bucket down low yes. that everybody can get a drink. All right. And that's a bonus, and you only get that bonus from Jonas. <laughs> all right, all right. So what, what I'm hearing is, We've got to learn to recreate ourselves. Yes. You know, things are different. And th there was a book not too long ago that was written uh, called Who Moved My Cheese? That's right. I read you it. You know, yeah. yeah. And, and when the cheese moves, yes. you've got to move. Yes, absolutely. And, and so we, many, many are trying to stay in the same place and do the same things. And unfortunately, the world around us has changed. Yes. And so really what I'm hearing you saying is we've got to recreate ourselves. We've got to think differently. We've got to do different things. And maybe this is a perfect opportunity to start getting in touch with your passion. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you may have been displaced from a job that you've been and you were an expert at at yes, one point. That's right. Um, but now maybe maybe tune into that passion, that thing that you you've always wanted to do. Hey, if nothing else is working, you might as well go with your, with your heart and that's see it. if you can make a uh, living from there. That's right. Yeah. And another thing, what I've learned too, nothing works until you do. Mm. I think I said something. I think that's a bonus from Jonas. I said nothing works until you do. And my definition of insanity is when a person continues to do the same thing over and over again, yet expects a different result. If you want a different result, you have to do things differently. Yes. You know, and, and stop going. And don't go where the path may lead. Mm. Go where there's no path and leave a trail. Be a trail Blazer, yes. as 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 uh, my friend just got through saying, it's a great opportunity for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was working at Eastman Kodak Company, I know it wasn't going to last forever, so I started doing some things on the side. And this is something I ask the audience all the time. I said, "How many of you drove here today or tonight?" And they raised their hand. They said, "Very good." I said, "How many of you have a spare tire in your vehicles?" And their hands go up again. I said, well, how many of you expecting to have a flat? No one no has. Hands. No, no hands. No hands go up. <laughs> but why would you ride around in your brand new car with a tire in your, in your, in your trunk? Well, you got it in there just in case. Mm. So even if you got a good job right now, find out what your passion is. Find out what, what, is, your, what is your purpose. Yes. And then live it with a passion. So just in case you get laid off from your job, or you're already laid off from your job. Well, you've been making a lot of money for the company before with your skills. Why not make a lot of money for you? You are worth it. I make a distinction in the book that I wrote. There's a difference between uh, work and worth. Mm. See, if you would do, if you realize that you are worth it, yes. you'll do the work. Wow. See? Powerful. Powerful. Yeah. Yes. Well, speaking about that book, you have a book entitled How to Fly Like an Eagle, 
with wings like a wimp. Yes. What a catchy title. <laughs> How to fly like an eagle with whim, wings like a wimp. Yes. And why don't you tell us a little bit about this? As I was mentioning earlier, uh, this book teaches you how to take a chance, take charge, and take control of your life. Uh, there's a passage in the in in Isaiah in the in the Holy Writ we call the Bible, and Isaiah said you have to mount up with wings like an eagle. And so I did an in depth in depth study about birds and found out there's nine thousand different species of bird, and the the Creator decided to style us as an eagle. And what I did is did a comparison between the human beings and eagles. And for example, the eagle has the ability to see over seven miles at a time. Mm. An eagle has uh, three different lenses. He has a panoramic lens, he has a, a zoom in lens where he can bring the prey even clo closer and, and, and so and so and then his eyes he has a protective lens he's the only bird that can fly directly to the sun and not get burned eyebrows because he has that protection the other thing that I shared in the book just to give you a little bit is that I, I look at at three things right away when I spell out eagle in across the across the sun I look at the eagle um, vision mm -hmm. There's a book I read that says, without vision, my people will perish. Yeah. And sometimes we stop there. But with, with vision, my people will flourish. Yeah. So we talk about vision, and then I talk about values. Bonus of Jonas. When your value is clear, your decision is easy. Mm. Ooh, I think I said something. <laughs> I think that's a bonus of Jonas. Okay. I said if your value is clear, your decision is easy. Mm. So if you have if you have vision, if you have value, then you got to give yourself a voice. Mm. Give yourself permission. See, sometimes we are looking for everybody else to give uh, give ourselves uh, give to us. A, a permission, but we got to give ourselves permission to succeed mm. and have that vision and realize that you can be who you want to to be. But I also emphasize you need a checkup from the neck up. <laughs> yeah, you need a transformation yes. from the neck down. The best you can do is about three hundred and fifty a week, but from the neck up is unlimited. Oh. And I also talk about uh, the transformation, and in most of you, or most of us, been to school, so you know about the caterpillar and going to the cocoon. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the caterpillar got to go through the process. It's not an easy process, and, and sometimes we don't want to go to to the process. But when that caterpillar goes through the process, it emerges later on as a butterfly. Yes, beautiful. See, and, and, and listen, the caterpillar has a lot of legs, but I don't care how fast the caterpillar can run, he can never fly mm -hmm. until he's transformed yes. into a butterfly. Now some of you are crawling through some things right now mm -hmm. when you have the ability to fly over. Yes. It's wow. time to mount up. Yes. In fact, I raise another question in the book is, what kind of bird are you? <laughs> <laughs> then I talk about some of the characteristics yeah. of other birds, but we all are eagles and it's our time not to mount down anybody can do that yes, it's yes. time to mount up and by the way eagles eaglets don't decide to fly mm -hmm. they have to be taught how to fly by their parents the e the, the, the mother eagle wow. and the father eagle and in fact the way that the eagles get the eaglet to start to fly is they evict them out of the nest. All right. <laughs> because they, oh, they, they in, in, in the nest they got so comfortable. Because initially when they made the nest, it made a lot of cushion yes. on there to protect the eaglet. But but see the eaglets grow up to be bigger and they get comfortable. So mom and dad start moving all the comfort stuff and then after they move it, they get to the sticky stuff. Yes. And all of a sudden uh, they can't stay there anymore because they're too sticky. I also have in my in my book how to fly like an eagle with wings like a whip that even an eagle need a push. All right. And this message that we are sharing with you, mm -hmm. we know that you're an eagle. We just stop by to talk to you just for a few moments to give you a push. All right. Amen. Leap and grow wings on your way down. Ooh, I think I said something. I said leap and grow wings on your way down.
right, amen, amen. I'm gonna, I'm taking a lot of notes on this because I've got, I have a son who's uh, 16 years old and one that's right behind yes. 15 years old, yes. and so I'm gonna be making some prickly things in the nest for them to be able to go out and go yes. out and fly. But uh, that's our charge. I, I, I greatly appreciate uh, that time. Let, let's, I just want to show it one more time. We're gonna put a link right at the bottom. So if you would like a copy of this book. Uh, you can go ahead and get one. I believe you're selling right on Amazon.com. Yes, right? Amazon.com or, or Barnes & Noble. Either one, uh, they can get it. Or they can contact me and get it through me direct. Or get an author copy, a signature from me as well. All right. So we will leave all that contact information right on uh, the bottom of this post. Truly, this has been, this has been a pleasure uh, to be able to sit and speak with you for a little while. Yes. Uh, I pray. If we don't mind, I just want to say a prayer. For everyone that's out there right now, and for my brother as well. Yes, yes. Let's bow in prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, we're just so grateful for this day. Thankful, Father, for your grace, for your love, and for your mercy. I ask that you might be with all of those that are out there that are struggling right now. And I ask you, Lord, to just bless them and to heal them, Lord, and to help them in all those areas wherein they hurt. Yes. Lord, give us a vision for our, our, our life for our future, and, and, and help us to get gain the strength to be able to keep moving forward and doing the things that we know we need to do for you and for our families and to be better in our lives. Yes. Truly help us to be like an eagle and to be able to fly and be able to understand our purpose and the reason that you have given us this life. Help us to use it in a way that is productive and pleasing first to you and then so that we might be at peace with self. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. In Jesus also, name. also, I want to pray for my brother, and I want to thank him for going out there and spreading the word of God around this world and continuing to lift up the spirits yes. of those uh, that have been cast down. Yes. Help us, help him in his travels, continue to guide and watch over him is our prayer in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Domingo Reyes, Inspirational Chatter with Jonas Gadsden, we bid you goodbye. Goodbye.